Girl Scouts. My name is Betsy Nichols. I am a program specialist for the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. I work out of our Duluth office in Duluth, Minnesota. This video is part one of four for the A World of Girls journey, which is also known as the Brownie It's Your Story Tell It journey. Before we dive into the activities, let's get started with the Girl Scout promise and law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Great, so this journey is called A World of Girls, which means that we are going to be learning all about girls from around the world and also about our world of girls around us. So today I will be talking about a couple activities um, in the journey. We are going to be looking at the team passport activity, the Our Globe of Girls activity, and the Me and My Girl Worlds activity. Um, so like I said, we're going to be doing a sampling of these activities and um, there are a lot of other fun activities that you can find in um, the booklet that you can um, purchase yourself. So the first thing that I did was I made a journey passport. Um, this is going to follow us throughout the whole journey, um, especially if you do the activities that are in the book. Um, there are lots of stories about girls around the world that you can read. And after you read each story, you can then add that country to your passport. So all I did was I took two pieces of printer paper and then I divided, I cut them in half um, this way and then I uh, folded those pieces in half and I made a passport and so I taped, I glued them um, together along the seam and then here's a little uh, seam. So here's my journey passport. I put a picture of myself on the cover and then I wrote on the inside this passport belongs to Betsy. And then I started filling it with countries and I'll tell you all about those. Um, so the um, Our Globe of Girls activity challenges us to think about how we are connected to other countries around the world. And so maybe you've had the opportunity to do some traveling, or maybe you have some ancestors that came from different countries, or maybe your uh, parents or family members have had a chance to go traveling as well. But I want you to think about how you are connected to other countries. So I made a list of countries that I'm connected to. So for example, I am connected to the country of Ireland. Um, I went to Ireland when I was in high school and I also have ancestors that came over to America from Ireland. Um, similarly, I am connected to Germany because I also have ancestors that came from Germany. I am also connected to Canada because I had the opportunity to go to Canada when I was in college. I did a camping trip around Lake Superior and that included going into Canada so that was a lot of fun. And then the last country that I am connected to is Thailand because I lived for Thailand in three months while I was in college. So I put those countries in my passport. Here's Ireland. I made a little four leaf clover as a symbol for Ireland. Um, here's Canada. Um, the maple leaf is on their flag. There's a lot of um, maple syruping that happens in Canada. And then I also put in Thailand. And this is the Thai flag. So um, it has some, some, has some familiar colors if you know the American flag. Um, but it just has some nice stripes, red, white, blue, white, red. So that is my passport. Um, I'm going to continue to add countries to it um, as we learn about different girls all over the globe. So I'm going to keep this handy um, and revisit it in our next meetings. And then the final activity that I did was the um, Me and My Girl Worlds 
So what we're doing is, if you can take a piece of paper, um, draw a big old circle in the, on the piece of paper, and you're going to cut it into four pieces. And then in each piece, I want you to um, come up with four different places that you interact with other girls and women. So I picked, the four categories that I picked were work, I did work, school, family, and home. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about those. But what we're going to do with these four categories is you are going to, you can draw, you can write about the different women and girls that you interact with in those four different categories. You can write and draw about how you feel when you are with those other girls. So for example, um, in my work category, I listed some of the women that I work with. And then I also listed some words that I, um, that make me think about them. So um, a lot of the work that I do is camping. So I put camping on there. I also um, do a lot of hiking with the people that I work with. We laugh a lot because it's a really, because the Girl Scouts is a really fun place to work. Um, and I am very lucky that I work with a lot of creative people. So that's what I did for my work category. I also have a school category. This, I focus this on girls that I went to college with. Um, so I listed out the girls um, that I'm really close to that I went to college with and um, things that I think about when I think of them. I think of, we love to do um, a lot of dancing. We would play lots of dancing video games um, and they are a really loving group of girls and we laugh a lot. So that is what I did for my school group. Um, and then for my family, I have my mom, my sister, my aunts, my cousins, and we, um, we do a lot of baking together. You know, we do a lot of long phone calls together. I thought about all of our family reunions and the bonding that we had there, so I wrote down memories. And then the last category that I did was home. And so when I think of my home category, that is the girls that I went to school with before college. And so there are a couple girls that I'm still really close to um, that I met before I went to college. We all live in very far away places. And so we do a lot of video calls. We do um, a lot of writing to each other and calling on the phone. And then all three of us were involved in theater together. So I put that down there. So your four categories might be different. Maybe it's, you know, girls in your um, Girl Scout troop. Maybe if you are involved in sports, it could be the girls on your soccer team. It could be the girls that you um, go to ballet with, anything. So there are lots of different places where hopefully you have some great girls and women in your life. So that is the last activity that we are going to do today. So that is your small, fun introduction to this journey. Um, hang on to your passport, because we're going to be looking at this um, again in our next sessions. Um, but I just wanted to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a lot of fun um, getting creative and thinking about your world of girls and where you come from and where you are connected to. Um, I hope you join me next week and I hope that um, if you do any of these activities that I just did, um, please uh, write about it, please post about it on our Facebook page. And um, before we close the, before we say goodbye officially, let's end with make new friends and a friendship circle. So why don't you sing it with me? Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. A circle is round. It has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. Bye, Girl Scouts.